pop out. Yeah. Hold on one second, ladies. You beautiful, beautiful, sexy bitches. Oh, some of you. Some of you are fucking nuts. Some of you. Let me see you put this right here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know. I'll be there in a fucking second, ladies. Hey, thank you, uh, Erica, for that. Hold on. Girl, I got you. Don't even worry about it. One second. One second, sugar booger. Hey. What's going on, everybody? Hold on, Erica. Thank you. Thank you so much for that money, honey. How y'all doing? I literally just woke up like five, like 10 minutes ago. I'm looking like a scrub. I'm looking like all you now. That's not good. How y'all doing, man? What's going on, ladies? What is going on? Erica, thank you so much for the money, honey. I know you got some, I know you got some, uh, some questions. You, you ain't just gonna, you ain't just gonna become a member and not have any questions, right, Erica? Oh, let, me, oh, let me open this real fast. Oh my God. What's up, Lisa? Lisa Honey Bunny. What's up, Sharina Law? How you, do, how you ladies doing, man? How you all bums doing? So let me answer some of these questions that I have on this. Um, uh, again, thank you, Erica. That I I put a post out yesterday in the community tab on YouTube to ask uh, you know ask you guys questions uh, or what questions you all want me answered. So I'm going to answer through those, and then I'm going to look on here and thank God, uh, thank goodness it's Tuesday. Yeah, and then I'm going to look at the chat and talk to you beautiful ladies. So someone in the post said, uh, can you go over men texting habits? I guess I can do that, actually. I'll probably make a post on that, too. What's normal or not? How does a man text when he likes you? Okay, so a man's texting habits are based off several things. One, if he likes to text or not. And two, I'd probably say his interest level. So for me, I'm not much of a texter. I don't like to text. Um... I, I, I'm always on my phone, so it's just not one of those, I'm not, I'm not anxious type, I'm more of a secure type, at least when it comes to texting, so it's not really my thing. A low value man, not saying I'm, I'm super high value, not low value at all, I mean there's a mixture of, you know, everything, uh, but like a really low value man will just be constantly blowing up your phone for several reasons. He wants the validation, he, he knows you like it, it's something he can offer that maybe a high value man might not offer as much because he's more secure in himself and doesn't need to text you all the time, but if you're the anxious type, again, and it's a low value man and he knows that and he texts you a lot and you like it, that might be a reason why. You see how confusing that can get. And then at the same time, of course, it comes down to interest. The more a guy likes you, the more he's going to text you. That's, so So to say what is normal is, uh, do you like men? Do men like hearing moans during sex? Yes. Um, so when you ask for what's normal, I think that's a very broad question to ask. I think it. I think normal is... Um, is across many factor, or there's many factors that will that will, um, you know, what on what's normal, right? Because you know you can't say he doesn't text me a bunch. Is that normal? Well, I mean, for a lot of people, that's normal. Like again, I'm not much of a texter, so I don't know what to tell you. But I would say, on average, if a guy likes you more, he will probably text you more. Um, now, men always text a lot in the beginning, either way, and it dies off eventually. Um, now when I say it dies off, I'm not saying he loses interest. He just doesn't text as much. Again, I'm one of those people. Not that I like you any less. I'm just not a texter. You know, so hopefully that helped in some way. I, actually, I know that didn't help because it didn't give you a direct answer so that you can attach to, to this guy that you're asking the question about, but it is the truth. You know, so uh, that's why I tell women, like uh, texting is not a good way to go off of on if a guy is interested or not. It's just Blowing up my phone. Uh, thank you, Star. Like even though I just woke up, <laughs> you're so sweet. I get messages from random dudes on Insta all the time. Could you hell a fine girl? You probably, you probably a fine piece of meat. Larray, thank you. Thank you so much, honey. What's my favorite cookie? Uh, oh shit, the woman's cookie. I did it all for the cookie. She could stick that. Wait, I did it all for the nookie, so you can stick that cookie. There you go. <laughs> Limp Bizkit back in the day. Thank you, Lorraine. You guys remember that song? I did it all for the cookie. That's like, what, 
What is the best way to get a guy to invest in you long term? The be uh, yeah, I always say so. I always say it's a two part process here. He has to actually want long term. He has to want long fucking term. He has to want the same thing as you. Long term meaning relationship. Long term meaning uh, the white picket fence and all that kind of shit. The long term means, or, or maybe it means like seeing you long term. Okay, a guy's not gonna invest in you long term. He does not see you long term. So you have to find a guy who wants the same thing as you, um, in that sense. And then he's only going to invest in it if he sees the benefits of investing in it. Okay, so meaning uh, if you have more assets than liabilities, number one. If he sees you long term, number two. Um, if he find if he thinks you're one of the best options he can get, number three. Number four. You you there you know there's there's offensive and deep I call it deep offensive and defensive dating. You know um, where he needs to invest in you because you're a high value woman and uh, you're highly sought after. So if you're if he doesn't. Who knows where you're going to go? Who knows if someone else is going to pick you up off the market? You know, that kind of thing. That's how you got to get a guy to invest in you long term. It's those type of things. A guy will not invest in you long term if there's no reason to. If the attraction isn't strong enough. If he can, if he doesn't have to invest his resources and you still don't go anywhere. So, you know, so that kind of stuff. Who was the real karate kid? I'm the real karate kid, bro. Come on, man. We talk about Hanson. I'm the karate kid. Why do men only act right after you leave? Why not work on it while the woman is fighting and stay in the relationship? Also, why do act, why do exes come back only to act like they the same way they did before? Because I tell women this: when a guy, I, I say this all the time, when a guy comes back around, it doesn't mean he has this epiphany like, "Oh shit, things changed. You're the one. What was I thinking?" No, it, it, it's hard to change character flaws. It's hard to change, you know, um, like deeper threaded issues. Um, he comes back because he wants the assets and he's going to see if you're going to give them to him. Simple as that. Uh, here's a question. I have a small crush on a guy who is five years younger than me and isn't shy, but maybe less social. Do you think he could be intimidated? Is that a thing? Um, I don't. Like, what would you know? I always ask women this: What would he be intimidated by? There's only two things I think men are intimidated by with women: a more sexual woman, like she's more sexualized, she's more experienced, um, she's more of a freak, um, and stuff like that. If, if he's not experienced, now if he if he's all down for it, then he's gonna go along with it. Um, but if he's not, then. Yeah, that, I mean something like that. Then I would say looks is the other thing. A man's not intimidated by a woman who is more, unless he's insecure, unless he has personal insecurities. Um, he's not, you know, by by a woman who makes a lot of money. Why? Because a a man does not value a a a, a rich woman like he does a woman or or a really smart woman. Yeah, it might bother him to the extent yeah, like it would bother him with any other. Human, like a man, but I I read studies. Thank you so much, Sarah. But I read countless studies where men are not intimidated by super smart women. Again, as if you know more than men, right? Like a a, a man is going to be intimidated the same way versus a man or a woman um, uh, in terms of smarts. Uh, money and things like that. Actually, I would say a man would be more intimidated by another man making more money just because that's uh, competition, that's status, that's value. And he can't compete with that. Um, but uh, um, because men don't value those things in women. Do I want a smart woman? Of course I do. Do I want a woman who makes good money? Of course I do. But a man values a woman's, sadly, this is the truth. You can hate it or not. From an evolutionary perspective, I can show you studies, just reading anything from David Buss. Men value uh, women of youth and women of, of looks, right? Like symmetry. Um, and, 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 and what they call um, birthing cues. Like she has nice body. She has hips. She has a booty. She has, you know, boobs. Um, men like that kind of stuff. So I think a man, if he's insecure, uh, he, he would 
be more afraid of a woman, not afraid, but intimidated of a woman who is very good looking, prop like in terms of out of his league and um, more sexual, more sexual experience. Less social, no, and I say that because I'm very less. So I'm I'm very introverted, very introverted, very, and I'm not intimidated by. The, the, I, I'm I'm kind of put back by women who are a little out there, like extroverted. I'm like that's not my thing. So, yeah, girls, I know you got more questions. Come on now, come on now, come on now. Let me see. Thank you, Sarah. Sarah, I know you got a question, girl. Um, let me see. Signs of insecurity, unavailable versus confidence. Those are two completely different things. What are you talking about? You, why are you saying versus? I think insecurity, unavailable is very, very straightforward. There. Um, first off, I always say when it, when it comes to insecurity, you can tell they're insecure not only by. So there, I guess there's two types of insecurity. Like you could tell when people. What's up, Jordan? Um. You can tell when people are insecure because, you know, there's the, the, you know, the people who are just like, again, you, you, we all know the typical, like I could tell that person's insecure, like how they carry themselves. Then there's people, what's up, Nicole? Then there are people out there who are insecure, unavailable, like they're trying to fill a void, right? So, you know, they might text a lot to get your validation. They might um, they might chase a lot. They might love bomb you or or do or do a lot of stuff where it's very front loaded um, and things like that. So I would say that is more of a sign of a, a insecure man and a uh, unavailable man. Whereas someone who is confident, a confident person is more. Um, they, they don't need the validation. They don't stick around for those type of things. They don't they don't put up with the bullshit. They don't front load their their interest on you. It's reciprocal investment. You do for me as I do for you. They have a lot of options um, and things like that. What are you talking about, Hanson? I'll punch you in the face. Hanson, he want, he want to get beat up already. How do you deal with a dating guy who suffers from oppression? You don't. You don't deal with it. It's not your job to deal with it. Sure, you know. I'm not saying ignore it. I'm not saying he doesn't deserve to have a shoulder to cry on. I'm not saying he doesn't um, deserve happiness, but it's not your job to fix it. Your job is to be there and say, hey, if there's anything you need help with uh, or you want to talk to anyone or you're feeling, you're feeling uneasy, I got you. And that's all you can do is to talk to the guy. It's not your job to fix him. You know, women, I know you're asking that question because you're like, well, you know, these men who are depressed, they're different. They're not as social or they're not that they're not reaching out as much. They're not responding to my text. He's being a little distant. He's pulling away. Okay, then he is. That's because he's unavailable. You know, I mean, it's not your job to fix that. How do I end it without attachment to the outcome? You can't. You got to have attachment. You have to have a detachment. Well, you have you have to have self respect. I I, I, don't, I don't get what your question is there. How do I end it? How do I end it without attachment to the outcome? I mean, you, you, you probably already have attachment to the outcome. You have to have self-respect or uh, and end it, or you're just going to learn the hard way. I wish I could give you more, Lorraine, but that's what it is, basically. You can't just not have it. So I'm hanging out with a guy, shy introvert, or so I'm hanging out with a shy introverted guy. He agrees to hang out but never initiates. Is that a bad sign? Yes, that's a bad sign. I dated a guy who was severely depressed for five years. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. I'm telling you, it's not I not that they don't deserve happiness, but ladies, I will preach this until I'm blue in the face. It is not your job to fix it. And when you do try to fix these type of things, not even depressed men, and if a therapist would say I'm completely fucking wrong on this, they would say, No, people need to be heard, people need to be understood. I am not denying that. I am not denying that at all. Okay, um, again, everyone deserves happiness, um, ironically. Everyone, uh, since we're talking about a depressed person, everyone deserves somebody and things like that. But you have to put yourself, and again, it's not like you could just turn depression off. That is not what I'm saying. It is very hard to deal with. But as a woman, your job is not to sit there and 
take care of the guy, you know, for him to be back to normal. You could be there for him, right? You could you 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 can you could be supportive, but if it's it, if it becomes more of a drain to you, I hate saying it like that, but if it becomes more of a drain to you and you're not happy, you got to get yourself out of it. That is just not fair to you. You, your job is not to fix it. And there's so many of these men, and I'm not saying depressed men are broken. I'm just using this in, as an example. There's so many broken men who come on to the dating scene who are like emotionally unavailable or insecure or stuff like that. And women stick around hoping that changes or they try to fix it. And then they wonder why it's not fixed. Why? Because you're not giving him a catalyst for change. You're not getting him a catalyst for change. You're giving him an opportunity to change. You're sticking around, so why would he change, right? Uh, she said, preach. He needs to seek help himself. Yes, he needs to go to a therapist, and he needs to get professional help. And if you, if you, he, if you want to be there to talk to him, okay, great, ob- absolutely. But I personally would not date somebody who is depressed but not go- I mean, I would date someone, but they have to be going to a therapist. And I have to see improvements. That's just me. Uh, You are the change of your own happiness and self-love. Talk to a guy for a bit, but it always gets interrupted by him throwing a fit, threatening me that he will cut off communication, then comes back three days later. Hey, that's uh, that's the most beautiful story. Cut his ass off. He will come back. Nah, hey, that's first off, read or read. I'm going to tell you, that's it's already not going to work between you two. I can already tell. This man is a gaslighter. He's a manipulator. He's emotionally unavailable. It is not going to work. It is not going to work between you two. I would cut this guy off like a bad fucking habit. Seriously, I would cut this guy off so fast it's not even funny. He's going to keep on doing that shit and because he knows it works. That's sad. Holly took your voice or took your advice last week. What's up, Tracy? Had an issue with a guy for months. Um... Not being able to stay at his place as he needed for some sort. Okay. Well, what happened? What happened, Tracy? There you go. Told him I really like him, but I was really looking for someone who made me feel like a prize. So I wish him all the best. And he said, call me in the future if you change your mind. Uh, wish him the best and said, call me. Okay. And then what happened? Even if that means lose him. He sorted it the next day and, and phoned to apologize and told me he was... In this for the long term. Let's see what happens here. Ladies, funny how that works. What's up, Ultra Instinct Cat? How you doing, girl? You sexy mama? Tracy, it's funny how that fucking works. If you just listen to what I say, ladies, and you just have some fucking standards, and you just stick up with what you're, stick, follow through with what you're saying, he's going to have to come back if he wants to be in your life. Simple as that. Sarah, I did not miss your question. Hold on, girl. Sarah, where's your, Sarah, where's your question then? Sarah, I'm so sorry. Hold on, I'm looking for it. Oh, I'm at Sarah, 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 Sarah. Sexy Sarah. Sarah, I did not miss it. People say I miss, I miss it. I just don't see it pop up. I, I don't see it. It didn't pop up. Yeah, Sarah, I don't see it. Does anyone know where Sarah's question is? You missed my question. I'm literally looking right now. I miss shit. It didn't pop up. I don't see it. Ladies, instead of asking, tell me I missed your question, just keep on writing it. Just keep, just spam it. Just spam the hell out of it. That's good though, Tracy. I'm glad. Why so many men that I have a history with every single one of them social media stories? What's what? Watch every one of my social media stories. Cause you probably find as fuck, Erica. Erica, you probably find you probably a fine piece of me. You missed my question too. I did not miss your question. I answered your question, all right. No, I answered yours. You guys saying I missed your questions even though I answered it. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm I'm still looking for what's your names. Yeah, you got you guys got don't say I am gonna start don't, just start uh spamming it. I did not miss your question, Larry. I got it, girl. 
How are you going to say I missed your question, but thank you for the advice? What are you talking about? Not Erica. I know. I know it's true. But I always say it's probably because of two things. Um, assets, right? So he's going to keep tab of that. Uh, and uh, I'm going to keep tab of you. And then on top of that, um, a lot of guys, they don't really look at your social media. They just swipe through them. I'm one of those people. A lot of people, like... Message me saying, I see you looking at my social media or my, my Instagram stories. No, I'm not. I'm just swiping through. I, I, I just go like this and swipe through them all. I, I, I don't look at that shit. Why, I, I, why would I be on the phone like that? Come on, girl. Come on, girl. So I don't know. He might be doing one or the other. I don't know. If they're, if they're exes, I'm sure there's some type of interest there. So that's why he's looking. Um, Erica, go find an ass. I find him a message. And I want nothing to do with that damage. That he needs to respect my boundaries and follow up on his own actions. That's a smart woman. You just said that? You just said that just now? Since he is still married with kids. Why are you talking to that? Sorry, I will rewatch. I missed your answer. Now, Lorray, I just said, oh, I can go, I can answer it again, maybe. Let me see. What the fuck was your thing? Oh, I said you can't have a, a, a freedom of outcome. You either have to have. Uh, well, I mean, you can, but I mean, that comes from just not giving a fuck, but you can't do that, right? Because you do give a shit. So you either have to have self-respect and do it, or you're going to have to find out the hard way. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just that. It's one or the other. You're going to pick your, you have to pick your poison. Well, actually, one's not poison. It just hurts currently. Wish I can give you more. I'm trying to work and listen, girl. Where do you work? Where do you work, girl? Where do you all work? Give me your jobs right now. Where do you all work? What's your jobs? Tell me right now or else. Or, or I'll let you have it. Whatever that means. I'll let you have it. I'm trying to figure out where you all work. Question. What's up, Sarah? What is the best thing to wear on a first date? A skirt. I want to be sexy and draw him. A. A skirt or a dress. Just do it. Just Now, if you have nasty legs, then uh, you're screwed. A skirt or a dress. In a low cut shirt. I see simple. What are you talking about? I simple as hell. I'm a dive instructor. Oh, that's cool as fuck. From the land down under, I work at a hospital without sounding crazy. You don't sound crazy for that though, Lorraine. That's not crazy. That's that's normal. Why would that be crazy? Private banking in NYC. I'm gonna leave from the post office, girl. You better, you better be giving me my damn, uh, my damn letters. Someone ain't giving me my letters. We got problems, dude. Look at my hair. Seriously, I look like this, and you guys don't tell me. Ugh, embarrassing. I look like Hanson. Now Hanson don't look this good. He's ugly as fuck. He don't look like this. This is ladies. This is me in the morning, like just rolling out of bed. This is literally me just rolling out of bed. How can you all get? Some of you are gonna get so. Hey, I'm telling you, someone's gonna get so lucky one day. Look at wake rolling over and seeing this rolling out of bed, baby. God damn, Jana. Damn, Jana. Lazy, be lucky as hell. YouTuber and public influence for domestic violence and MST, just uh, disabled veteran. But you knew that. I know everything, girl. I'm in California, though. I'm sorry to hear that. You look great. Thank you, Erica. I'm in California, though. What do you mean you're a dive instructor in Australia? Girl, I'm, I'm gonna have to come over there. I, I, I want to. My dad did some some diving and uh, diving things, man. He loved it. I'm gonna have to do that shit. You give me free lessons, all right? She says no. You don't give us free sessions. Okay, you're right. You're true. Hey, everyone. What's up, Tisha? How y'all doing, man? I'm a, I'm a dive instructor in Australia. What are you doing in California? Then you stuck here, huh? Cause you came over here. Probably came over here for a guy. And then Corona happened, you stuck. Because I found out by looking at the few girls he follows on IG. Nah, man, you're right. What about the what about the girls on IG, Lorray? I'm living in Australia right now. Then why are you in California? I'm from California. Oh. Why are you in Australia? Why in the hell are you in Australia? You in the wrong place, girl. Nah, Australia anywhere's better than California, no offense, ladies. No offense. I'm not about that laugh. I ain't about that laugh. Okay, so someone asked uh, on my on my uh, 
the post I put, how do I keep a priority in his life during an established a relationship? One where you are not where you do not reside together. Things feel distant lately. Thank you. Hey, I, I, I always say it's assets versus liabilities. If if he's if the assets are not worth the yeah if the assets are not worth the liabilities, he's going to slowly lose interest. Um, so distance can be one of those things. Um, and it sucks. So what do you got to do? You got to have a goal. Fuck. Well, I mean, if it's long distance, you got to have a goal long term. You have to see. I always say when you're a distance, you got to see each other more. That's just what it is. If you can't do that, it's just not going to fucking work. People don't agree with me on that. I'm, but if you're a distance, you have to see each other once a fucking month. Or I think it's going to be very. I'm not saying it can't work, but it's going to be fucking hard. It's going to be fucking hard if you cannot see each other once a month. Because why would someone jump into a relationship where it's pure liabilities of just talking, texting, time, energy, effort, all that to maintain what is normal if you guys were living closer together, right? So this is a bitch, man. You guys see each other more often. That's how you do it. As simple as that. People don't agree with me on that. No, I only see my man once a once a year, and we for four years we're on distance, and we worked out. Okay, great, awesome. Go put that on a Hallmark card. Real spiders are and nope, but I like fake ones. Who in the fuck? What the hell's a fake spider? Like Spider Man? You fuck Spider Man. What are you talking about? Or plastic, but nope. But not cool alive. Helicopter, air ambulance. Oh, wow. Girl, you're going to take me on a helicopter ride? That'd be our first date, Tracy. And quarantine is making everything feel long distance. Yep. Damn right it is. That's all right, though. That's just, putting, that's just the Lord putting you on the test. He's saying, these girls got no personalities. Let me show them. Let me show them all. He says, these girls got no personalities. Watch. These, once these guys can't get access to them, he's fucking done. And what happened? Hey, the Lord tested you today. He said, yep, all these punk ass bitches. Dude, dude, fakes are the scary people. What are you talking Dude, you fake as hell. What are you talking about, bro? I'm the fakest person I know, dude. You are, you are a fake rat, dude. You're the rat king, dude. When pulling away no contact from a guy, do I unfriend him on social media? Ah, uh, you could. I would. Nah, 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 nah. I would just ignore their bitch ass and make them suffer, man. Right? So the analogy is like, it's like, uh, I forgot what show it was. What show was it? Or the, the guy was, it was a TV show. Hold on. Uh, it was, um, it was, uh, How I Met Your Mother. Or what's his name? Old Barney Two Slaps. But he was always hanging around Barney and twitching stuff. And it freaked Barney out because Barney didn't know when it was coming. You know, so he just freaked out. He was like, just slap me, just slap me, just slap me. This is the same thing. You uh, you know, you could just stay on there, post nice things, but, you know, and cool things and stuff like that. And not even give him any type of, um, any type of, of communication and just let him... If again, if he's if he's uh, reaching out, if he's liking your shit, just just ignore it. Okay, he is. Just ignore it. If he's trying to get your attention, posting shit, just ignore it. Let him. But he gets to keep on seeing your fine ass though. He's irrelevant. You have to act. I always say it doesn't matter. You just have to act as if he's irrelevant. I'm trying to articulate a question. Here's what I have right now. How come I attract insecure men in droves? I'm dripping. With insecure men hitting me up 24-7. Um, so there's several reasons for that. One, they can sense something in you. Such as, it could be a woman who's really nice, really sweet. They might think they can get you in terms of maybe you have a void to fill. Maybe you're coming off insecure. Um, uh, uh, usually it's really nice women. Uh, who who these guys take advantage of? It's it's women who give the guys the benefit of the doubt, and these men are are again when you say insecure men, you got to understand that these men aren't always 
clear to see in the beginning, right? Because they're the nice guys. Like, they're the guys who do initiate a lot. They are the guys who do put the effort in a lot. They are the guys who text you the good mornings and all that kind of stuff. They love bomb you. They, they front load it. Uh, uh, low value men do this because they don't have the the traits, the competitiveness, the resources, maybe the looks, the status, the power, the money, all the above that a high value secure man does. A high value secure man does reciprocal investment. I invest in her, she invests in me. Um, type of thing goes back and forth, back and forth. A guy who love bombs a woman is pretty heavy forward. Um, and some women, I, I'm not, I'm very confident, but I am very nice. That's probably what it is then. Um, you know, and so when he does all these things to you, and just like you said, you're nice, even if you're not like doing it back, you're just letting it. You're just like, you know, like if the guy asks you it out, out a lot and the guy calls you a lot and you're going along with, it, I always say compliance is, is, is part of the process, right? So like, like if I flip it around, for example, women are always like, uh, or I tell women, well, in terms of context. So I tell women that, you know, you guys are having sex. You guys have been talking for a while. You met his family. Uh, you guys been on 10 dates. You guys are super cuddly and affectionate. You're leaving stuff over at his house. So you're not some basic bitch anymore. It starts to feel like a relationship. It's layering up. The context is different. The layers have created something, a, a, a more serious vibe. And because of that, if he keeps on complying with it, his actions of compliance are telling you he's on the same page as you when he might not be. So what, is, what usually happens, this is where the guy pulls away because he realizes, oh shit, I'm in a little too deep. And again, he keeps on complying. It's saying, hey, I'm on the same page as you. So the guy's going to pull away because he freaks himself out. This is kind of the same thing. If you go along with it, he can only assume what he's doing is working whether him being a low value man or insecure man or not. So it doesn't even have to be about you being nice. It's a woman going along with this love bombing, this front load and, and that, and that kind of stuff. Um, where are all the confident Kings? They're, they're talking to confident girls. I mean, I know you said you're confident. I mean, but they're just talking to a bunch of new women. I don't know. High value confident men will not just talk to one woman until he's in a relationship with her. Uh, but they're probably looking for relationships too. Not going to see that guy I'm hurt by possibly end up end it for another week. Text me every day. How do I respond to the text in the meantime before having to talk with him in person? Oh, you can be chill. You can talk to him normally. As long as you know in your head, motherfucker, you're gonna you're about to get a talk next week. You about you about to get that talk, motherfucker. And that's completely fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, you know, so yeah. Be careful. Love bombing is what narcissists do. It is, but you don't have to be a narcissist to love bomb either. Just people in general do it. A lot of low value men do it. They're very they're very 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 front heavy. Because again, they just can't compete with the the. Again, there's well, there's many reasons they do it. They it's a, it's like it's a social what they call social market value hack, right? Social market value is an actual thing. It's a hack. Like, well, I don't have the resources that this man has, but I can create the illusion that I do, or I create the illusion that I'm on the same page as her. You know, and usually if it's a woman who lacks confidence. Um, experience with men maybe she's getting older and she wants a relationship she fears being alone um she doesn't know when another nice guy is going to come around so whatever it is she's going to look at this and be like oh shit this like i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna put some money down on this i'm gonna invest in this i'm gonna like in turn money as in terms of like value like resources effort uh commitment time and that's why, and that's why it works. It's an effective strategy. I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, if he feels that way towards a woman, great. But if he's manipulating her, then yeah, it's bad. But it, I mean, it works. It is draining. Yes, it is. You know what else is draining? All you fucking women. You all crazy, man. You all cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Bro, the only thing irrelevant is you. Oh, you rude as hell. How how did I make you a a damn 
how do I make you a uh, moderator, bro? I need I need to block your bitch ass. You ugly as hell. Yeah. You ugly as hell. To me, a red flag is too much too soon. That's scary. Yeah. But hey, I agree with you, horse go or whore cops. I agree with you. Um, but you'd be shocked on how effective it is. On how much it works. Women give these guys the benefit of the doubt. And some women out there, actually all you motherfuckers out there, love attention. You love it. Now I'm not saying you all love the love bombing and stuff. I think a lot of you are smart and you're like, oh, okay. Like, I think a lot of you know what's up, but you go along with it anyway. Like, you're like, this is a little straightforward, you know. Uh, this is a little fast for my taste, but... I, 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 women tell me all the time, my clients, when they talk to me, they'll be like, yeah, I know I, I, I could tell that, I mean, this was a little fast, but I was just, I mean, I just assumed that he really liked me. You know, that's what women say. I don't feel interest and commitment until I feel a deep emotional connection with people. But I, but since I am very nice, anytime I'm a bit interested in a guy, they pull away because they mistake my nice. For, for maybe something else. How do I fix that without playing games? That's not why men are pulling away. It's not because you're being nice. That has nothing to do with it. They're pulling They're pulling away. I, 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 I would have to talk to you probably on a deeper level. I'd probably have to get a session with you or something. Because that's not why men are pulling away. Men do not pull away. Because here's why. Men do not pull away for a woman being nice. Because it is... Being nice is an IOI, an indicator of interest, right? Uh, that you're obviously, oh, indicator of interest, that you're obviously interested. So why not take advantage of that? Like, why would he not try to get in your pants? Why would he not try to get the assets? You know, and things like that. So he's not pulling away because you're being nice. You're still not seeing my question? Uh, I can look. I, I see, I see, you hold on, let me see, let me see zero. Sarah, I always I tell, I tell people all the time, stop telling me, stop asking me if I see your question. Just keep typing it. I'm gonna stop. No, I don't see it. You missed my question. All the way back up. Nope, I, I'm not seeing it. I posted about seven times. Oh, it's not popping up then. Yeah, I didn't see it. I'm not seeing it. That's so weird. It does that. I don't know. I thought I heard my cat meow. I was like, what do you want, cat? You want attention? You don't get it. Well, they already gotten in my pants in these scenarios. Well, there you go. <laughs> I don't see your question either, Sarah. How do you, hey, do you guys know how many people are watching this right now? On my end, it's, it only says 12. I know it's frozen, though. I don't know how to fix it. How, do you know how many people are, 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 are viewing this right now? Um, yeah, I'm not seeing the question. I'm sorry, Sarah. I don't know why it's not popping up. Uh, true, Nicole. I've been seeing this so many times with people. It's crazy. Well, Erica, I think you know your question. I mean, they, she said they already gotten in my pants with these scenarios. That's so funny. She said that. Sarah, Erica, I like you already. 107. Damn. Damn, Gina. 108. All these 108 bums. 108 beautiful ladies, I mean. How do I make the conversation? Wait, no, hold on. Elliot, how do I keep it private? Okay, no, no. How do I pull it? God damn, I already answered all these. Signs of insecurity. Where can I, where can a lonely Scott bot go find her twin to flame bot? One who can find my G spot. What the hell? I don't know. I don't, I don't know about that. Probably never. No guy knows where any of that shit is. Oh, some money. Flo Yoga Guru. What's up, girl? I was saying, how do you make a guy value you if you already got in your pants? You start feeling he doesn't. Okay, so a lot of women, th there is a miscommunication, a a misrepresentation of what's going on where women think if I think you, right. where women think if I hold out, I have more value. If I hold out. Um, He's going to commit if you know, like if I give him sex date one, you know, like like no, like versus date ten, it's going to make a difference. It's not. A guy already knows if he wants a relationship with you. You can have sex with him the first night if he likes you and you guys are awesome and you're high value. 
Nicole, where are you leaving? Hold on. I'm leaving the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'll see you later, Nicole. You have a good one, okay? Um, and and all that kind of stuff. He's not. He already knows if he wants to have a relationship with you or not. You, your, your, your. If he pulls away after, I can understand where you build the complex where, because the the new variable is well, I had sex with him. You know, he was he was doing great before that, and then I had sex with him, and then he pulls away. Well, that's probably because your asset to him was sex. It's not. It wasn't that he wanted a relationship. It was probably friends of benefits. So if a guy loses value after sex, your value to him or your his, your value proposition to him was sex. It, he, it, you could have held out date one, date ten, date twenty. He wasn't going to commit if he didn't want to commit. So if you want to make a guy value after sex, um, I would say, first off, hold out, number one. Number two, um, you have to know if he's wanting the relationship to begin with. If he pulls away after sex, it's probably because he, he doesn't want a relationship. And he, he wanted sex. Sally. I like the musician, but my intuition told me to reject his moves. And once I got, I, once I got to know... Um, and once I got to know him, he was all over the place, confusing and full of himself. Sounds like a typical musician. No, he was doing great after sex. We haven't seen each other in over a month. Well, that's not great. We talk about that's not great. I mean, a guy might do good right after sex because it's fresh. It's new. Why not? But obviously, if you haven't seen him in a month, unless there's some reason because of the coronavirus, then he probably doesn't want a relationship. But I wouldn't say that's because of sex. See what you get what I'm saying? I want you to see if a guy is crazy or a manipulator before we get physical. No, that's true. I agree with that. I agree with that 100%. You always got to realize that kind of shit. I, I'm with you 100% on that. But, I mean, it's, there's just so many variables. And I tell women this all the time. Uh, if a guy wants to be with you, doesn't matter what you do wrong, he will be with you. If a guy, I, this is why I say attraction is like currency, right? You have to think of attraction as like again money, currency, the the a facilitator. The more he has for you, the more you can make him do. There are so many women who focus on the wrong things, like focus on trying to get a relationship. Stop focusing on trying to get a relationship. Try to build attraction, okay? And. Um, you can make, if, if the attraction is strong enough, you can make every mistake in the book and he'll stick around. If it's strong enough, in theory, right? Unless you're like a cheater. Or, well, even if you cheat, there's some guys who will stick around. But most of the time, a guy will not stick around because he's investing his resources into something and um, it's all kind of tossed up to shit when she cheats. You know, so, I mean, yeah. But f I tell women, focus on on attraction focus on building that type of that type of foundation instead uh i have sent you a link to his book he is writing three at the moment who are you talking about um but uh yeah don't focus on relationship that shit comes later on that is a that is a byproduct of having strong attraction in a good game and making that guy your bitch pretty much hansen you still here bro punk ass Podcast still here? He was doing great after sex. Oh, I read that. Yeah, I mean, girls, you gotta have more questions, ladies. I'm, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm full of these questions. I'm full of answering this shit. I'm full of it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just hitting the guy I'm dating. Oh shit! Why you always date someone, man? You can, you ain't need to give me love advice, girl. Oh, that's that guy you're telling. How's that going? Is it that same guy you're telling me about? What happened to the guy who bought you a video game? Hanson, get out of here. I don't want you here, bitch. He called me a bitch. Ah, right before I called him one. Um, Cat, what happened to that guy who bought you that video game? You talk to him anymore? You say, nah. You say, nah, he's not good enough for these sugar walls. How do I make a guy my bitch? You buy, a track, you buy my course, Attraction Academy. That's what you do, and you will win. Any man, I'm, I am, I am redoing it all. It, the, the new one is gonna be legit as hell. It has all the information you need. So maybe, maybe I'll maybe just wait, wait it out. 
wait it out because it'll be done next month. Same. Yes, yeah, same guy. Same guy. Damn. I just didn't see a future with him. We are just friends. Damn, when he bought you a video game? I love it. Uh, what do you have for someone who, who post divorce who wants to get out and date? Depends on how early, how, how divorced. Right after divorce or how, like how long? How long? Do these women have high value women looks like the traits of her? What are you talking about, bro? I work for the SSA. Any man, is that a guarantee? Any man. No, that's not a guarantee. A man, it will be a man within your sexual market value. So if you're a six, you can get a six. If you're an eight, you can get an eight. If you're a 10 like yours truly, you can get a 10. I don't know 10, I'm far from that, but you know what I'm saying. I feel like you had to be each other's type on the same wavelength too. You feel me? Nah, dude. I I never date a woman who is my type. My type. I never dated committed to a woman who is my type. How do you attract the guy during the quarantine? I have a video on that, Larray. Am I saying that right, Larray? Lara? Lara. Lara. Ha ha ha. Wee wee. Separated for a year, divorced two months. So you, you're talking about you. I would get back into it very fucking slowly. Very slowly. I wouldn't even be looking for a relationship. I would just date. Oh, money. I miss you again. What's up, girl? I got to blow the horn. Uh, hey, guy came back from one week of science. Huh, told you how that works. Out. Uh, worked. Uh, we met online. It had a text call session for eight weeks saying, he was busy with work, sending polite uh, messages, Daddy, but now told me to call, told me he will call when everything is less man excuse or is he busy? I would say, hold on. <laughs> thank you for the money, honey. I would okay. So I tell women to give the guy the benefit of the doubt if everything prior has met your standards, right? So if things have been going well and he's been reaching out, like you said. And you had intense sessions, and you said for fucking eight weeks. That's two months, okay? Um, wait, am I reading that right? He called sessions for eight weeks, and he was busy with work. Sending play, but now he told me to call everything with. I I would give the guy the benefit of the doubt. I would give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Ivy, women might not agree with me. I'm not saying he's not lying. But you can't, assumptions are the termites of relationships. You cannot give, you cannot say, well, hey, no offense, but I feel like you're bullshitting me. I feel like you're lying. Um, and, and, you know, that you just don't want to put effort in or, or that if, if, some, if something's on your mind, like, tell me. You know, like, I, like you can't, you can't say that. I mean, you could, but what, what warrants it? Why would you? If things have been going well up to that point, there's no reason for you to think otherwise. Now, if you do, this is what I talk about, me problems versus we problems. If you do, then is that a problem like in your head? Like, like a lot of women get in their own heads and they go down this vicious cycle of overthinking, overanalyzing. They might be the anxious type and they're paying attention to the, the little details of things and they end up freaking them. Oh, he's not texting me like he did yesterday or he's acting weird after we had sex or he, uh, you know, he, he usually tells me to, he usually tells me good night, but to, 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 uh, to this night he didn't. It's something, you know, like, like people, women overanalyze it and they get in their own heads because of insecurity, seeking a void, validation, um, and things like that. But if you guys have been good up to this point, okay, since he came back, I would give him the benefit of the doubt because especially like me, I'm more spatial. When I'm stressed, I tend to text less. I tend to interact less and I want to get shit done. That's just me. I'm not saying he's not li I'm not saying he's lying or not lying. I'm not saying he's co not completely bullshitting you. He could be, but you can't automatically jump to that conclusion. When that, you know, there's a saying, when you hear hooves, think horses, not zebras. Think what's most common or what's most likely to be. There's no reason for you to jump off the deep end and say, oh, this guy's bullshitting me. Even though he might be. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Okay, that's not what I meant. Like, you click conversation flows. What the hell? Well, hype, 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 hype. Oh, that money, honey. Yeah, she got that. That's, that's a lot of money, isn't it? I, I don't know. I don't know how much money that is. It's probably like 
five bucks. Oh, let me see. I have no, I have no idea how much that is. I wish that was a thousand dollars. That'd be I fucking shit myself. I'd be buying everyone everything. Oh, so should you? Oh, should you slowly pull away or pull the plug with the guy who's not meeting your standards? Um. Okay, so I again I make a video on this right. I think I talk about I forgot what it is. The video is called. It's one of my guide videos, like well, probably one of my last like five or six videos, where thirteen dollars. Thank you. Where I uh, again thank you Ivy for that. Uh, where I talk about your standards have to have. Like when I talk about standards, I, I hate telling women what their standards should be, but I always say it should be realistic too, right? Like if he's texting you daily and you want him to text you more, that's not realistic. Or even trying to hear from him every day, I don't think that's realistic. Well, I mean, it is, but I mean, I don't think it's bad if he goes a day without hearing, you know, like that kind of stuff. So it depends on what your standards are. Your standards have to be, I think, realistic and sustainable, first off, when you when you offer them to the guy. You know, um, so if he's not, so if you have those things and he's not meeting them, I think you need to call the guy out on it. Now, when you call a guy out on it, don't say, hey, you're not meeting my standards. You kind of have to be a little more sweet about it. Hey, is something wrong? You seem a little different. You're, you know, what, oh, what do you mean? Well, I mean, I don't want to make a big fucking deal out of it, motherfucker. But no, you don't say all that kind of stuff. Okay. But. You just tell him that he's not texting as much as he used to, you know, or something like that. And now that he knows your standard, he needs to meet it. If it's realistic and it's sustainable, okay, and it's actually beneficial for both of you. Have you considered doing a hussy like sem or a seminar or a seminar like hussy? Hell no. I would never do those. Um, personally, I just, it's not my style. Um, now, after you show him your standards and he doesn't meet it, then you need to call the motherfucker out and be like, okay, hey, homie, what's up? This guy texts me every day himself. Then what's the problem? What's the problem, baby? What are you talking about? Lorraine, you have, your, your standards too high then. You're fine. You're fine then. If a guy is naturally flirty and has lots of female friends, what's the best way to not get stressed about it? Um, work on yourself. That's a, that's what I call a me problem, not a we problem. No, I mean, it could be a we problem. If you guys are official and he's flirting with other girls, that's a we problem. You know, hey, I don't, you know, we're together. I don't really appreciate. I, I know it's innocent, but I don't appreciate you flirting with other girls. You know, that's a we problem. But if you're not together, he's just naturally flirty. Um, I would say that's a me problem, which is a normal problem. It's normal to be jealous. When you go over, oh, hold on, don't forget. When you go over to a guy's place, should you dump him if he doesn't get your you an Uber home? No. Or is that presumptuous? That's presumptuous. Um, he, he should be nice and do it. Thanks for the reminder, Hanson. Hit the button, sub. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you. And get that membership if you haven't already. I agree, man. So I dated a guy who ended things by saying he went to therapy and needed alone time. He hasn't talked to me since. It's been about three months. What should I say if he comes back? Say, nah, motherfucker. Nice try, dude. No, no, do not let a guy come back after that. Don't let a guy come back after that, man. I mean, uh, if it's therapy and he said I needed alone time, I mean, you can't get mad at him because he said <laughs> he told you what's up. How does the top tier membership work? Girl, I told you, 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 oh, you want that letter? You want that love letter? Is that why? Uh, you got you got to message me. I think I put it in the tier thing on what to do. You got to message me on um, Instagram your address, and I'll write you a letter. And I'll probably get it, I'll probably get it out in the next couple weeks. So you'll get it next month. Well, you're gonna get it next month anyway. It's only four four days until, but or three days until, or f sorry five. But yeah. So you just message me your address, and I'll send you a letter. I told you this in an email. What are you talking about? We told me in an email. Erica, we haven't talked in email, have we? Erica, are we best friends? Are we best friends? What? Told me this in an email. What did I say in the email then? Why are you writing me this if I said this in an email? Erica, girl? California girls? 
Oh, money. Your advice got me through the, the tail end of my marriage. You said to go, so I did. Best decision ever. I won. It's only when I don't follow the advice that he's able to hurt me. Thanks, babe. Hey, I'm babe now. I don't even know you, and I'm babe. I love it. Thanks, toots. See, see I, can, I call, can I call you toots? Hey, thank you for that money, honey. Thank you, honey. Hey, I tell women, man, when you're always in the gray area and you're always in an in a, in a area where you don't want to be, it's because of a lack of standards. Not that's not saying it's your fault, but there's a lack of standards somewhere, whether his end, like I, I would argue a standards in himself, like him, he, he's letting himself treat you this way, right? It's always a lack of standards. Where there is structure, there is there is less chaos. That is just how it is. So when a, so when you when you say, hey, you know what? You're not really meeting my standards, dude. I don't like the way you're treating me and I'm out. You're not giving this guy the opportunity or you're not giving this guy the platform to perform this act. You're gone. He, he, he's, just, he's just sitting there with no audience on stage looking like a fucking idiot. That's what women don't understand. You have to think of it like that analogy, man. You, you cannot give this guy the opportunity. So there you go. How do I communicate standards? You tell them. We talk about how do you communicate. You just say it. Say, listen, bro. Yeah, I missed the session though because I'm in Australia and I got the time difference wrong. My question was, is therapy alone time like a soft out? I would say it's like a soft out, absolutely. But because he hasn't came back in three months. I always say if a guy truly likes you, he won't put himself in a position to lose you. However, I'm sure this guy has already hit it too, right? He probably already had sex with you because you said in your situation that that's what happened. Um, but... You're asking if he comes back. Well, again, it comes down to the assumption. You can't say, hey, motherfucker, I know you're bullshitting me. Uh, I know you're BSing me. You know, three months is a long time for a long time. Because even though this is petty, I would just gaslight you if I was the guy. I'd be like, wow, that's kind of fucked up. You know, I'm bad. I mean, I could have not came back at all. I told you I need a loan time and, and you respected that. I appreciate that. But once I come back, you're, are you really throwing this, the, the, are you throwing this fucking shade at me? Seriously? Like after, after I just told you I, I needed some time alone in therapy? Like, wow. Like I, I'll just gaslight the shit out of you and I'll win that because you can't really argue with that. I mean, the guy did come back. So I'd give him the benefit of the doubt. Can you repeat what you just said? I said that when if, that when you are, I think you're talking about my standards thing. Standards are usually from a lack, or sorry, yeah, are from when you're in a gray area with a guy, or un, or the unknown, or where you stand, or uh, he's treating you like shit. It's usually a lack of standards on both ends. His lack of standards in, in, in himself and how he should treat you. Um, like I'm letting her, myself treat her like that, or I'm, I'm letting my yeah, I'm letting myself treat her poorly. Or a woman's lack of standards where she's letting the man do it and she's giving him the platform to perform this act. As soon as you pull away due to your standards saying, no, I'm not putting up this bullshit, then he's just going to sit there on stage performing in front of nobody. He's, you know, so he has no, there, it's just standards. Thank you. Thank you for the, uh, the money, Bella. <laughs> We have a great time together. The last week got quiet. He spoke some this week and he said he he was in a weird mood. I told him I was here, but haven't heard from him since. Benefit of the doubt. Uh, benefit of the doubt, but he's probably, this is him probably going away. This is his song. This is his soft call. Uh, soft call. Thank you for the money, honey. I would say that's soft cop out, or cop out, uh, Jordan. It's easy for guys to use that excuse. I'm, I, you know, family issues. I'm not saying they're not valid but family issues um i'm depressed i'm not really looking for a relationship you know I'm, I'm gonna i mean you can't argue that saying oh no you're not you're just trying to cop out i'd be like yeah whatever you're a piece of shit you know if i was the guy i'd say okay whatever you're a piece of shit for saying that because you can't prove it you know so it's kind of yeah it is what it is i mean he flies in and out for work every three weeks so he can only see the therapist once a month and divulged to me a lot of personal issues so I understand why he needs therapy. Yeah. Makes perfect sense. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. You're all you're all you're all welcome. 
Ladies, with that being said, it's been an hour. I'm going to head off. I will probably be on again Thursday or Friday, for sure Saturday. I'm going to be on again this week. And again, I will let you know a day in advance, and I will put this up in a day in advance. I need to do that. But awesome. I love answering your questions. Thank you for all the money, honeys. Thank you for all the new members. I love you all truly, okay? That being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.